welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful fabric fortune cookies. I first learned about this when I watched a video nine years ago on Whitney Sews and I'll put a link in the description box of her video. I watched that nine years ago and I made these and gave them to my husband for Valentine's. It was so fun and he loved it. Aren't they adorable? Look, this one looks authentic. I made it out of felt, the same color as ordinary um, fortune cookies. And these are perfect for Valentine's Day, so you can hide little love notes inside. Here's one I made out of some Valentine fabric. Isn't that adorable? And this one has a little love note inside. You'll have to wait till the end and I'll share what it says. So follow me over to my cutting table and I will show you how to get started making your very own little fortune cookies out of fabric that you can hide little love notes for your Valentine. So let's get started. <music> Okay, to get started, you'll need some fabric, some felt, a circle pattern. I'm just going to use this little bowl as my pattern. You could use a glass or you could use a circle that you cut out of cardboard. But I find this quick and easy. And then something to, to mark it with. I'm using my friction pen that erases with heat. You could also use chalk or pencil. And you'll need some scissors. So first you just want to trace your circle pattern and you can do any size circle you want. This size, it's about a four inch circle and it will make this size fortune cookie. So draw your circle and then draw your circle on your fabric. and then cut these out. There's one circle. Okay, now we're gonna take our fabric and our felt and we're gonna put wrong sides together. And we're gonna do a half inch seam around the circle. Okay, you can pin the center if you like, but with this being flannel and the felt, it kind of sticks to itself, so I don't really need a pin, I don't think. But if you feel more comfortable, you could pin it. And we're going to start here on the edge, and I'm going to move my needle all the way to the left so that I can get a half inch seam. A half inch. You want to sew a half inch from the edge over. And you're going to start with your foot right on the edge of the circle, and I'm going to do a straight stitch. Um, I'm going to do a 3.0 stitch, a little bit longer. A normal stitch is two and a half. I'm going to do three because of it, of the felt on there. And I'm going to lower my press a foot. I'm going to do needle stop down so that every time you stop, the, the foot goes up and it's easy to pivot around the circle. And we're just going to start here and sew all the way around. I'm going to do a fixed stitch in the beginning. Stop down there. See the needle stops, the foot goes up, and you can do that manually if you don't have that feature on your sewing machine. You just want to stop, make sure your needle's down, lift up your foot, and then you can pivot around the circle. So you stop, needle down, foot up, and keep pivoting all the way around. Stop and pivot ever so slightly so it stays in a nice circle. Okay, and before we get to the end, always clip your threads. Otherwise, they can get caught and make a, a nice little nest for you, which is a pain. So I always clip my threads before I sew to the end. Right back up and do 
a fix stitch at the end and we're done. Clip your threads and let's head back over to the cutting table. Okay, we finished sewing all the way around. Now we're gonna trim it about and leave about a quarter of an inch left when you trim it. I like trimming it with just straight scissors, but you can also trim it with pinking shears if you like that, that cute little edge. I like it to look more like an authentic fortune cookie, so I like the smooth. So you're just gonna go around and trim it, leaving about a, about a quarter. Like that. And there's the, this is the felt side. So now we're gonna take it and fold it in half to get, and fold it in half again to get the center. And see that line right there? On the, and make sure you're up on the felt side. You don't have to do this, but you can if it makes it easier to and follow. And we're gonna mark a little line. I'm gonna mark so a line gonna, this so we're you gonna can sew see now. Better. You see this? In half we fold it in half to get the center and then I'm marking the center to show you where we're going to sew now we're going to sew starting here where this seam is and go this way but we're going to stop a quarter inch from this edge okay we're back over to the sewing machine I'm going to so make sure you stop a quarter inch from this edge right position. here okay we're just going to do a straight stitch okay let's head to the sewing machine okay back in the center and I'm going to have it set to the normal two and a half inch, I mean two, two point five stitch length, and I'm going to put my needle down right at the beginning of this line, right in those stitches that are going around the circle. You see that right there? And I'm going to do a fixed stitch right there, and I'm going to sew straight, and I'm going to stop a quarter of an inch away from the bottom. So I'm going to do a little fixed stitch. There, do a fix stitch a quarter of an inch away and we're done wait you see how cute this comes out okay we just finished doing that stitch now I'm going to take a warm iron and I'm going to erase this um, ink mark all gone Okay, now all we do is we fold this edge in and fold this edge in and you've got an adorable little fortune cookie. And now what I do is I put a little note in there and you could give this to someone for Valentine's Day with a little note inside. Isn't that sweet? You can make a several of these and have different um, little notes they can open each day of Valentine's week or all together and have or do a little scavenger hunt with with these would be really fun and you can make all different sizes here's another one I made aren't they cute it's super easy and you can just open them up to get your note and close them back up Okay, we finished making our fabric fortune cookie. Look at all the different sizes you can make. Liz is the size. Well, the size of your circle will determine the size of your fortune fortune cookie. Look, I made this really big one using the lid off of my coffee container. And this lid is six inches. It's six inches wide and it made this size fortune cookie. And you just open them, and you just flip them back and close them and you can reuse them over and over again. Isn't that cute? This one would be a good size 
to put like an invitation inside of this. Wouldn't that be cute for an invitation? And this size I made using a CD as my circle. And this CD is four and three quarter inches. And this one, I use denim on the inside. An old piece of denim from an old pair of jeans. And you just flip them back and close them. And these five I made using this little bowl, and this is four inches. This one I made out of cotton with denim on the inside. So you could use felt on the inside, you could use denim, and you could use more of a heavy weight like um, home decor fabric would work for the inside, and the outside you could use a cotton or um, flannel. And this one I love, this one looks like a real fortune cookie. This is, I use felt on both sides of this one. Isn't that just adorable? And these I made with the white felt on the inside and the flannel Valentine's fabric on the outside. And these are just so sweet. What a cute little Valentine that would make. Put these in a little bowl or in a little bag or if you could get one of those little oriental um, boxes and put these in them, that would be an adorable gift. Or wrap them in, in clear, one of those clear um, bags and, and tie it with a bow. So many different ways you can give these as a gift. So sweet. Oh yeah, one of these had a little love note. Which one was it? Here it is. This one has a love note inside. Happy Valentine's Day. And it says, bye for I now. I love you.